guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you our evening routine when I have all three boys on my own. So this is just what I do when Matt is working late. So I'm gonna take you through their dinner, playtime, and also how I put them to bed when I'm on my own. Please excuse some of the camera angles because obviously I am gonna be trying to film this on my own. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you do like it. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I post three videos a week and I love to make routine videos. So yes, without further ado, let's get into it. So when we get back from the school run, the boys will normally hang out on the couch. I'll get them a drink, which is water and also a snack. Today they're having crackers with butter and also some skips, which are basically Jesse's little crisps that Caleb really, really likes having. Even Jackson's having a cracker, even though this is probably a bit grown up for him, he really likes them. And then I'll just play with the boys. At the moment, Jackson loves playing cars and he has these two car garages that he really likes. This tall one is from Little People and it's gone through all three of our boys so it must be indestructible he's even putting the cracker down the garage and he's also got a little VTech toot toot one and he will spend ages putting the cars through this little gap that is um, on the garage he will just do this over and over again and really loves it and he also really likes to play on his little fire engine like ride along thing I found this on my first years and got it for him for Christmas and I even had it personalized as well um, on nights when I know that I have all the boys to myself I will make sure I have an easy dinner in so tonight they're having turkey escalopes which have like a ham and cheese topping on it and the boys really seem to enjoy this um, so I'm making that and while I'm doing that Jackson is playing with the hoover and I'm also going to make some carrots and green beans to go along with it and also some pasta which sounds a bit random but there is a reason why I'm doing that and while I make their dinner, I'm also going to make myself some prawns and vegetables because I'm on some crazy New Year diet. So I will tell you about that more in another video, I'm sure. Jackson's just going to play on the hoover um, while I make dinner. He does like to be really, really close to me when I'm in the kitchen. Um, so his toys normally spill out over into the kitchen as well. I try to clean as I go as much as I can while I'm making the boys dinner just because it makes life a little bit easier later on so I'll just wash up the pots and pans that I'm using for my dinner and anything for theirs and also get them some milk. I usually give the boys milk with their dinner because I want them to drink as much as they can before we go up to bed to try and save their teeth. So yes, as I said, they're having pasta along with this dinner, which seems random, but because Jackson is having meatballs, that's what they're having. And I will normally put their food on the deck to, to cool, especially Jackson's, because if he has the slightest bit of hot food, he will be put off his dinner. So I'm just gonna cut up their chicken for them just to help them out a little bit and call them to the table. Bye boys, dinner. I'll just get your drinks. No iPads at the table. Yeah, so we don't allow iPads at the table, but I will normally leave CBeebies on or something like that. And then I will sit with the boys and eat with them, encourage them to eat and also help Jackson feed himself. He is getting really good at using a fork though. And as I said, he really loves eating meatballs. So I can make my own. I could make like chicken and apple ones or I can buy meatballs and he's quite good at eating them and also pasta. He wasn't too sure about the green beans though. Out of my three little guys, Caleb is definitely Definitely my fussiest eater but luckily he really likes this dinner and he even had one green bean it took a lot of persuasion though um, but he did do quite well so I'm gonna take their dishes to the sink and then I'm gonna get them pudding and tonight they're having these Rolo desserts because they really like them and they were on offer for a pound and Jackson is going to have a little Petit Falou yogurt While the boys are still sat at the table, I will normally go under Jackson's high chair with a baby wipe and just clear up any crumbs or bits of food that he's thrown over the edge and also play peepo with him because he really loves this little game. And then I'll get him out of the high chair and put him down with his cars again so that I can clear up the table and also give the high chair a wipe. I'm using my method cleaner because as I said in the past, it is non-toxic so I like to use it on the surfaces that Jackson eats off of. And while the boys are happy, I'm also gonna give the rest of our family room a bit of a speed clean. I really like to leave this room as tidy as possible when I take the boys up for the bath because there is nothing worse than getting the boys bathed and into bed and then coming downstairs to a big mess. So I much prefer to just try and get it all cleared up before I go up and then once they're in bed, I can actually relax.
I'll also empty the boys' snack bags and put anything into the dishwasher that needs to go into it. And then after all that, I'm going to test Fraser on his spelling. He has a spelling test every Friday, so we like to practice as much as possible. He has got 10 out of 10 every single week, so there's all this pressure now for him to keep that up. Um, and while we're doing that, Jackson and Caleb are playing really nicely on the carpet together. They love each other so much. I feel so lucky that they all get on so well. And the older boys really make Jackson giggle. <laughs> he can't even breathe, he's laughing so much. Oh. We'll normally make our way up to the bath at about 5.45 and I will make sure that I bring up their milks in case they still want a bit more and also their reading books for after the bath. We have this sticky mat in the bottom of the bath which has been great for Jackson so that he doesn't fall over or slip over when he's sat up in the bath and then I'll just run it and get them all in. I normally wash my two older boys hair every night because they do wear a little bit of hair wax um, every day in their hair and I use this munchkin jug to rinse their hair and when I'm not using it I put it over the tap like this because there have been a few times where they have hurt their backs standing up near the tap. And yes, they just play in the bath with some toys. There's lots of brotherly love going on as well. Me. He's not letting go tonight. Once the boys are all clean, I'll get them out of the bath and dry them. And it's actually really hard to get them out of the bath. And sometimes they even get back in. You can see from this, Caleb's back in again. And sometimes he'll do that two or three times. But I'm gonna dry Fraser and then Caleb again and then finally Jackson. And at this point, Jackson is very tired. So he needs some more cuddles with his big brother. He'll normally stay on the changing mat just for his nappy and his vest, and then he would just want to get down. So I'll normally put his pajamas on while he's playing with his toys. Tonight, Jackson is wearing some Gap pajamas, which are very well worn because they are hand-me-downs that have been through all three boys. But I will normally help the two little ones get their pajamas on, and then Fraser will sort himself out, hence why he is wearing this combination of pajamas. But then I'll let the two older boys have their iPads in bed for 10 minutes, while I put a very tired Jackson to bed. I'm still feeding him as well, so I'll just breastfeed him for about five minutes and then he will go off himself. And then that is one down. And then I will take another five minutes to put some laundry away and also get the boys clothes ready for the next day. Next up, it's Caleb's turn, and this is his new single bed. He outgrew his toddler bed, so we got him this teepee, and I found it on a website called Cuckoo Land. He loves it and it's so cozy, so I'll link it down below. If and I also wanted to show you this hack that I do to get the boys to brush their teeth. This is something I've done since Fraser was a baby. I just go onto YouTube and search for the Elmo brushing teeth song. And then I think it's the second video on there. And it's just a little song that Elmo sings to encourage them to brush their teeth. And it is the right length. So they have to brush along to the whole song. And my boys really love it. Brush, brushy, brush, brushy, brush, 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 uh, brush, 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 Honestly, that song works, and how funny, Caleb holds his nose while he's brushing his teeth. We recently changed his toothpaste to Aquafresh because our dentist said that that is the best one for fluoride, but he really doesn't like the taste of it. But anyway, once he has brushed his teeth, we're going to read the book that he brought home from school. Because he's only four and just learning how to read, he just tells me what is going on in the pictures, and he really enjoys it. And that last thing, oh. my ball went over there and he's angry. <gasps> After that, I'll let Caleb have a further the two books that I'll read to him or he'll read to me. Tonight we're having Oi Frog and Daddy Sandwich. Both of these books are really good and I would really recommend them. My children really seem to like them. Tonight Caleb has decided to read it to me. Oi Frog, sit on a log. I don't want to sit on the log. Yeah, sit on the log. What? They give you splinters in your bottom. Bless him, he's such a cutie. But once we've read the books, I'll give his back a quick tickle and then he will go off. So that is baby number two down. And then it is on to our eldest, Fraser. It's his turn to go to bed. And then there was one more to put to bed. My big boy. But I love putting you to bed because we can catch up, can't we? How was school? <laughs> what was that? That was school. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made him have the hiccup from tickling him. And the funny thing is, when Fraser was in my tummy, he had hiccups every day. And now, whenever he laughs, he gets the hiccups. <laughs> 
Once we've caught up about the day, he will brush his teeth. And don't ask me why he's brushing his teeth, sat in bed, and then he's going to run and rinse out his mouth. And after that, we're going to read the book that he's brought home from school. And of course, it's a lot more grown up than Caleb's book. And he's very good at reading. There's lots more words. And I feel really proud that he seems to have a real love for reading. So yeah, he'll read to me a good few pages. And then I will go downstairs. All the three boys are in bed now. What I do with Fraser is he normally reads me a book and then I'll read him a book and then I just say night night and I just leave him like awake and I just say I'll come back in five minutes. Um, so he'll just chill and then we like Pinky promised that I would come back in five minutes so I'll just go and check on him soon and then normally he'll just go off after that. So yeah, now I'm just going to tidy up. I'm going to write in the boys' reading books just to say that they read and how they read and stuff like that. And then I'm going to pack the bags for school tomorrow. The boys don't have any clubs tomorrow after school, so they don't have to organize anything for that, but they do have show and tell. So I might put out some things that I think they might wanna take, just so I remember to make sure that they take something. And then I'm also gonna put Matt's dinner in the oven. On the Thursday night, I will often do like a posh ready meal. So I normally buy the cook meals from our local farm shop and just stick one of those in for him because it's so much quicker and easier. It's about 7.45 now, so all I wanna do really is sit down and get get on with work. And then I'm just gonna sit on the couch and edit this video while watching something on TV. I'll also probably check Instagram and try and respond to some comments on YouTube. I'm still really trying to reply to as many comments as I can, but there's been so many recently, which is amazing. Um, but I just really need to get through them. If I don't manage to reply to your comment, I'm so sorry. Like I love replying and reading all the comments. Um, but yes, I will try to get through all of them. Also gonna have a cup of tea and something sweet that allowed on my diet tonight. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I think I'll go. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hi, I'm home. <laughs> Hello, Daddy.